Everyone from your photos to your finances to even your medical records, it seems everything we have is online these days. Yeah. Question, think about this sincerely. How secure are you? How secure is your information? Well, apparently there's Probably a not new very. threat, no. new threat in cyberspace called the Therminator. Uh oh. Researchers at the University of California, Irvine, Woo. discovered, yes, you're an Andy <laughs> you're you know it. On. Well, Andy to right there. Eaters. So he's fired up, but they, they have determined that hackers can steal your password even if they never saw you type it. How? They do it with a thermal camera. And here to show us how this is done, but more importantly, how to protect yourself, professor of computer science, Dr. Gene Sudik, and one of his PhD students, Tyler Kazmarek. Gentlemen, thank you. Welcome. I am scared because everything's a threat. Now you're telling me that they can steal passwords without even you think seeing you're it's scared. Tight? I'm the one that's going to give them my pass <laughs> password. Hey, they can, can, get into can, a can, lot we, can we figure out his bank account password? Yeah, that's a good I mean, you know, a lot of people reuse their passwords for um, multiple accounts, which is very bad. Um, it should not be done. So. Maybe if he uh, uses it for more than one thing, we can figure that out. So, so uh, walk us through this. How does it work? Okay, so uh, humans, we're hot, we're warm-blooded. Uh, keyboards, typically pretty cold. Any time that you are touching something that is colder than your hand, you are going to transfer heat from your hand to the keyboard. And if you say, type in just a password, and then we look at the thermal image, we're going to see some hot regions corresponding to the keys that were hit and nothing else. So that's mm. how you identify the threat mm. of the Terminator. Right, we were studying <laughs> other types of ways of people, people leak their passwords or allow others inadvertently to steal them. And we thought, well, you know, uh, we're hot and the keyboards are not, you know. And so unless they're made of metal, which is a little different, but most plastic keyboards that we use uh, are much cooler than our fingertips, which okay. is body temperature. So as Tyler said, they, we leave what's called thermal residue, right? Or remaining heat remains on the keyboard sometime after we finish. Is there a way oh. based on the imprint of heat that you can tell that, okay, well that looks like it's been there the longest, so that may be the first letter they punched in? In other in. words, a time sequence? Yes. So unfortunately, you're gonna be hitting the keys a little bit differently. Um, maybe you pressed a key in the middle longer than you pressed the first key. It's going to show up hotter even though it wasn't the first key pressed. Hmm. So ordering isn't something that we can do, but... Well, I was gonna say that's fortunate, right? Because well, hackers trying to use this technology, well, how, how are they going to, how are they taking well, it to the step of see, sequence? As you will see, what happens is when you look at the thermal image of a keyboard, some second, let's say 15 seconds after you entered your password, or the doctor entered his password, you will see the hot regions corresponding to the keys that were pressed. And now the problem of figuring out his password is reduced to solving a jumble, like an anagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like, you know which letters are involved, right, but so you have put it to, to the test, right? it. I'm gonna make it easy for you because I'm a one-fingered pecker, <laughs> all right? <laughs> this, all right. I know, you said if you're really, if you, all right, so let's, let's not, no one look at the keyboard Nobody while Drew does this. Right, here we, we don't want to cheat. I'm actually really intrigued by this because someone would have to go ahead, Drew, enter your password. thermal camera where you're putting your password then. So if you look around ostensibly, you should be able to see if there are cameras in your vicinity. Um, well, while Tyler is doing this and actually Tyler, demonstrating yeah, the, attack, Tyler, the threat here. Good luck. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tell you that this oh, is right. not necessarily some random not stranger. Oh, look at that. Let's focus yeah. on this. Hold on. I guess you're looking at my residue. Yeah, so you can see you can see the lit regions over on the side. So we can snap a picture, and we'll look at this a little bit later, and we can take a guess. Um, okay. There's some additional software for um, optimizing the image, so we can capture the real niceties of how you're lighting up that keyboard. And uh, honestly, it looks clear. As, it looks clear as day um, once you do? get there. Hmm. Oh, I'd be worried. 